On Dirt Racing News at the Oshweekin Speedway for the first ever Triple Crown Showdown, the Go Nuclear Late Model Challenge Series at the Oshweekin Speedway for the first time ever. And joined now by the promoter of the Go Nuclear Series, Greg Bellier, driver of car number 25 as well. Uh, Greg, uh, you got a couple of hats on here this evening, but uh, first off, talk to us a little bit about how, much, uh, how excited the series is uh, to be at Oshweekin for the first time. You know, I've come down here and watched since Glenn refurbished the track, and it's an awesome facility. We really look forward to uh, racing here tonight. I think we're going to have a full field, a real close to a full field on this overcast day. So we're real excited about our race here tonight, and I hope to put on a good show for the fans. The key word there being overcast. The first four races for the series were, were knocked off by, by Mother Nature and uh, got the first race off a couple of weeks ago at the Canon Motorsports Park. That was a great race uh, with Charlie Sandercock picking up the first win. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the competition in this series and how difficult it is for a driver to pick up a win. Competition is fierce. I mean, we've been on this series for about five years now, and we haven't been able to score that elusive win. We're going to try real hard tonight again. But, uh, I mean, any of 10, 12 cars can win. When Charlie goes out there and win, Gil gets second, and Daryl Lenning gets third. I mean, you're racing against world champions, and uh, they're finishing in the top five. They're not going out and dominating. These guys really got their stuff together, and uh, we hope for a good show. You got both of the XL Tower Service sponsored number 25s here tonight and Glenn Stiers, the Ashwikan Speedway promoter and owner, is going to be in the other black car here this evening. Talk to us about how that deal came together. Yeah, Glenn's actually going to be in our red car. I'm going to be in the black car, but uh, uh, Glenn's a great supporter. I really have spent time talking to Glenn about how to operate a series and how to best promote your races and, and your racers. And uh, just a little bit of a thank you message to Glenn for helping me out. And uh, I really think Glenn does a good uh, deal with the uh, native children and, and really helps out the community. It's just a little bit of give back to Glenn since he's helped everybody out so much. Now you've got your hands in a whole bunch of different pies here in 2015. One of the other deals that you guys have going on on Saturday nights at Brighton Speedway is the Kids Are Cool two-seater late model. And we've talked about that a lot at the racetrack so far this year, but we haven't really gotten a chance to branch that out to a couple of, uh, of our bigger on-dirt audience uh, throughout the province. Talk to us a little bit about what that deal is and how it all came together. You know, my wife and I have been—we've uh, been fortunate enough and blessed enough in life to uh, help out every once in a while, be in the, have the means to help out and. Uh, we decided last summer that we were going to build a two-seater late model car and the proceeds raised were going to go towards uh, a Kids Are Cool charity and uh, it's something we just developed. Uh, we made it up and uh, we, we sell rides in a two-seater late model. Uh, it cost $125 for six, seven laps and that money goes towards various things. I sponsor nine go-kart teams, uh, a comp four team at Brighton, a pavement modified. We do a hockey team, a ball team. Uh, and then we're right in the midst of trying to plan out uh, a fishing derby for the kids. It's all about the kids. Uh, in 2013, we bought uh, 120 some Christmas gifts for underprivileged kids. 2014, we were down to about 80. Uh, in 2015, this year, we hope to raise enough money that we can then purchase over 250 gifts. So we're on. Uh, on pace to raise about ten thousand uh, dollars just simply through that we sell the little mini doors for the late model souvenirs and all that money goes towards helping the kids and it's really important to us i mean we've been blessed with a with a good uh, business and and we work hard but we like to give back as well a man with many titles here at the Oshweekin Speedway here tonight, the Go Nuclear Late Model Challenge Series, set to go at the Oshweekin Speedway for the first time ever. For On Dirt Racing News, I'm Clayton Johns.